Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today we are going to be trying out the new Sephora Pro Warm Palette. So if you want to see my thoughts on that, then just keep watching. Okay, before I get started in today's video, um, a couple things I want to point out. Yes, I have a new background going on. Um, I had totally forgot to film my intro for this video. So while I was playing around tonight with backdrops and lights and things like that, I thought now's a great time to sit down and um, film my intro for it and get your thoughts on what do you think. Do you like this better? Do you like my other background better, which you're about to see? Or should I switch things up every once in a while and just kind of keep it interesting? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. So, um, without further ado, I think we're ready to get into this. Okay, before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about this palette. Now, you can see I have not even opened it. It's still sealed on both ends, so I haven't touched it. We're going to open it together and take a look at all of this. Um, this is the warm palette that I have. They do have two other palettes. There's a cool palette and an editorial palette. Each one of these runs $68 though. So, ouch, yes, it's pretty expensive. I've never spent this much on an eyeshadow palette before. Um, you get 28 shades in uh, this, and they're a combination of a chrome, a matte, a shimmer, and a satin finishes. So you'll get a combination of four different types of finishes inside of this. Um, the shimmers supposed, are supposed to have a high impact pearl that's added to it. Um, that's supposed to give it more of a shine on there. And then it also has the uh, antioxidants of vitamins A and E inside. So you get some good conditioning things for your eyes. I'll also let you know that my eyelids got a little bit of my retin A on there and they're peeling pretty bad. So if things don't turn out looking so good because of the peeling, I do apologize for that. But that's what it is. So let's open this puppy up and see what we got. The scissors here. It does have the names it appears on each of the colors. So, uh oh, this makes me nervous. There's a bunch. Can you see that? That's all over the outside, and that's gold. I hope nothing is broken. Um, there's a little card that comes with it, too. We'll take a look at that. Oh my gosh, this is all over the backside, too. You guys, that's broken. I'm going to be so sad. Hey. shade too. It's, oh, two of them are broken in here. Okay, I'm going to make do with what I have, but obviously I'm going to have to return this. It's um, making a mess here. So let me get this a little bit cleaned up. Right back. Okay, I have cleaned up as best as I can. Normally I like to hold the palette up and show you what color I'm going to be applying to the lid. Um, unfortunately, I can't do that right now with the way the palette's all broken. So what I'm going to do is insert a little picture here, and I'll point to which one I'm using, but I'll also get out the name of them. So the first color I'm going to use is called Oat, and I'm just going to take that all over my eyelid as a uh, kind of a base color. So I'm also going to go ahead and try and swatch these as best as I can for you as well. Okay, so for the next shade, I'm going to go in with my transition shade. Um, I think I'm going to take this one called Sandstone. It's just orangey color. And let's cap that off and see how it looks. I 
could be zoomed in a little bit. I think you guys need to get a closer look at all this. Okay, I think that's a little better. You can probably see a little better now. All right, let me go in with uh, one of my Morphe 707 Copper Dream Brushes. And I'm going to go into the color Adore, which is a lighter brown shade, and take that into my crease. That's blending out nice. Besides, it's just going to be ugly today. Just me with all the peeling that's going on, it's not going to look so good close up. I'm going to take the same brush and go in a little bit darker. Uh, this is Burnt Umber. It's more of a chocolatey brown. And I'm going to go deeper into the crease with that. Very lightly. This is, here's, oh, wow, that's pigmented. Pigmented. I just barely tapped in that. Barely tapped in it. Wow, those just, I don't even need to go in with a blending brush. These are just blending in so well to each other. Looking very nice. I'm impressed other than the fact it's all broken. Uh, let's move on to the lid. I'm going to go in with a uh, small flat brush. This is just I think a BH Cosmetics one. And I'm going to start putting a little bit of the satin and shimmer colors onto my lid. Uh, this color, it's called Peach, is the one that's calling out to me first off. So I'm going to go into the inner corner of my eye with Peach. I think I need a bigger brush. Okay. doing anything. Let's see if wetting my brush will help get that to go in here. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of a mist and fix. I sprayed myself. I'm not doing anything. Nice, this is not good. Let me try my finger. Showing up a little bit. I'm disappointed. I'm not happy with the peach color. Okay, let's move on to a different color. Um, Try a little bit of this color sand, which is broken. So there we go. I'm getting something on my brush there. So that's sand right there. I'm going to try that instead. It's going to go right over the top. So unfortunately, with the lid colors I wanted to use, one of them, the peach, is not working, and the other two are broken. And I'm going to go into a kind of a, mm, like, 
It's going to be hard because it's got gold on it. Um, I guess I would call it like a reddish color. It's called Brick. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and do the outer corner of my eye. This is the look of me not being very thrilled with this palette so far. So I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and take that same brick color under my eye. Actually, before I do that, let's take a different pencil brush. And I'm going to take the sandstone color first, which is very powdery, by the way. This image I'm tapping off. And that I'm going to take under my eye. All right. Then I'll take this one with the sandstone, I'm sorry, not sandstone, with the brick color. So I'll go in with this on the brick and go a little tighter to my lash line. And I'm just going to take it on the outer third and kind of create a little bit of a wing with that, just a teeny bit. Just going to take another small flat brush and I'm going to take the color canvas for that. It's the lightest shade in here, which is also very powdery. And I guess I'm going to try taking some more of the sand color, because there's not really a good light shimmer color other than the sand. I'm going to take that into tear duct area to highlight a little bit. And then let's go ahead and just kick off all of the fallout from that. There wasn't a lot, but there was some. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop on some false lashes and do my mascara, and I will be right back and we'll take a final look at this. All right, this is the finished look. Um, I also called Sephora while I was finishing up. They're kind enough, they're sending me uh, a new palette, so I'll have that in a couple of days. Um, that means I will have it prior to me actually uh, getting this online, so I will leave some comments down below letting you know how the new palette turned out. I did ask her about the peach palette. She said that, or the peach color in there, and she said that nobody has said anything that she's heard about it. So it could be just my palette was a bad one. Um, so again, I'll keep you updated on that. But let's go for the rest of the items that I have on my eyes. So for my lower waterline, I use the uh, NYX pencils, it's a retractable one, and the color gold. I very, very, very lightly went onto my upper. Um, lash line, the water line, sorry, and use the Sephora Black pencil on that. For my bottom lashes, I use the Wet n Wild Make a Slim Skinny Mascara. I've really been loving this for my lower lashes. You can see all the length that I get out of that. And this is just like kind of one and a half coats. But the wand on this, and I've been to mine, is super, super skinny. So it really allows you to get in there and get those lashes very easily without making a mess on there. Then for my um, lashes, I use my House of Lashes Temptress Wispies. Since they're on my eyes, I'll hold up a picture of them right here so you can see what they look like inside the package. And then for lips today, I went in with a combo. I used the Milani lipstick. Uh, this is in Matte Naked number 61. That's my alert saying that my Sephora order is on the way. And then I also use the Maybelline Infallible Paints and Metallics, and this is in 330 Moonless, so I'm over the top of it with that. Uh, then I set everything with my Urban Decay All Nighter spray, and we're done. So, 
I, again, I'm so disappointed that it was broken, but I'm also so pleased that Sephora has such great customer service that they are taking care of it very quickly. So I will have it in just a couple of days. Okay, as you saw in the video, my first palette arrived broken. So I got the new replacement one today, and I thought now would be a great time to sit down since I am filming and just kind of show you how this one turned out. So let's take a peek inside. Broke the seal on it. Haven't opened this one either. So far, no weird colors on the outside. And let's open it together. <gasps> it's all in one piece. I'm thrilled. So let's do a really good close-up look of this right now so you get a good better idea of what the colors look like. And one thing I really want to do is try that orange shade or peach shade. Okay. Still not the most pigmented one in the group. Um, but that is the peach shade. So let's get back to the rest of the video. Sorry for this interruption, but I just wanted to let you know it's the new one came through just fine. Um, they're not even making me send back the broken palette, so maybe I'll pass that on to one of my daughters. <laughs> That'll make their day. So as far as the pigmentation and everything else goes with these shadows, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my monitor right now. I'm pretty pleased other than that peach color. Um, let me insert some swatches right here for you so you can see what they look like. Um, and I'll put the names of the colors on them as well. Okay, here are swatches. So we've got from top to bottom. The top row is canvas and then oat. Then we go to biscotti, uh, camel, okra, saddle, and auburn. Let's move on to the second row. And now we've got row two. So again, starting from the top, we have sand, which is one of mine that were shattered. Um, these are also just one stroke of them, by the way, too. Uh, brass, clay, copper, which was another one that was shattered, and it's so pretty. Uh, then we have bronze, adobe, and sandstone down at the very bottom there. So again, row two. Now we're on row three. So top to bottom, we have hazelnut, uh, khaki, peach, which is the one I had a lot of issues with. So hopefully that even shows up. Then we go to that beautiful color, the reddish color called brick, terracotta, burnt umber, and chestnut. So that rounds out row three. And fourth and final row, we have top to bottom, brown sugar, which has a lot of glitter in it. A lot of glitter. Uh, then we go to caramel, sepia, coconut shell, cocoa, cedar, and obsidian. Not just black, obsidian. So, oops, sorry, let me show that there. So this is row four, and that is all of the colors in the palette. And I think that kind of wraps this up. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And until next time, you guys, I love you, and bye-bye.